Whatever that is, I want it. Got him. He's on. I got him. On this point, saw him chasing that bait. And this redfish came and smoked it. Not under there. Oh, goodness. Let's go, y'all. That's what it's about right there. Look at that rod, man. Nice red fish, first thing. Beautiful, beautiful red fish crushing that salt strong moonwalker, y'all. So nice, he ate it twice. what's going on salt strong nation it's matt and i'm back to tell you a bit of a hero story i'm here to tell you how i won a boat tournament uh in a kayak i actually a couple weeks ago i uh, had the honor of participating in a inshore fishing tournament where about 40 boats participated and i was the only kayak angler of the fleet and i actually won uh, this tournament i was on the leaderboard for the uh, second placed overall redfish and i also won the trout bag for the two-day tournament as well and uh, i actually want to tell you how i was able to win this tournament because there were actually three very important factors that came into play but i wanted to be able to share with you how i was successful not only in this tournament but uh, how I plan to be successful in future tournaments and future trips on the water. So let's get into how I won that tournament right now. Okay, I want to tell you about the three things that allowed me to be successful for this tournament. Uh, the first thing and first really most important thing was the preparation. The second thing was the on the water action, the actual fishing. And the third was the actual knowledge and experience I had going into that that allowed me to be successful. All of those played a very big part in this. And I want to share a little bit about how all of those not only played a part, but how I got to the place where I am that allowed me to be successful in all three of those areas. Now, as I said, the first and most important part of all of this is the preparation. Before anybody can be successful with any trip on the water fishing, they need to have the right preparation in place so they're not out there wandering aimlessly. A lot of people go out on the water and they spend so much time trying to figure out where they should go. And a lot of that time is wasted on the water when they're trying to figure out where the best place to fish would be or where they could go to try and find fish or where they could go to try and be successful. But with proper planning, that shouldn't be much of an issue because with proper planning, you know where the fish should be, you know the right times to target these areas and you know what your game plan is going to look like before you even get on the water. That's all super important and I want to go ahead and talk to you about how I prepared for this tournament and how I was successful in my preparation leading up to it. Now, the most important thing about this preparation was definitely the new Smart Fishing Spots app. Now, that has been an absolute game changer for us for inshore fishing, not just for myself and uh, the other coaches, but all of the members as we have been finding in the community that everybody has been having uh, such great success with this new app. Now, the reason this is so great is because it absolutely takes care of all of your fishing apps in one. You no longer need the use of all of these different fishing apps to clutter your phone or uh, your computer desktop or whatever it is you have you uh, because all of this is now available in one centralized location and everything that you have paid an absolute premium price for through other services or other platforms is now available through the Salt Strong Insider Club, free to all Insider members through this amazing 
app and system that has been created inside of our platform. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what makes this so amazing and how it allowed me to be successful for this tournament. Now, look in here at smart fishing spots. If you look here, this is Florida. Now, as you see here, this opens up automatically to uh, the wind layer. So what I'm able to see here is uh, how the wind is right now in the given area that I'm looking at. This right here is the Panhandle Big Bend of Florida, and over here you're able to see the East Coast, but you can see how the wind is in this area. Now I'm able to use this right here, and I'm able to see uh, a projection for the future. Now this was super important for me. During this tournament, we had a lot of terrible weather. The first day, it was absolutely storming, and it was just, it, we were getting a lot of rain. Now I'm fortunate through this uh, app and this system, I can go to any day of the week, I can click on the day of the week, and I get this drop down menu. This drop down menu will give me the projected forecast for any point in time during the day. So I can see here on these days that I should expect a 25% chance of rain up to about midday. And then it's looking like it could be a mid afternoon shower throughout the afternoon. Now, things like this is super important for me when I'm planning a fishing trip. Now, not only does it tell me about the rain uh, in these areas at the given time, but as you can see here, it also gives me uh, the wind direction as well as the wind speed and the, the temperature outside as well as the barometric pressure. Now, these things are super important when planning a trip because you definitely don't want to be caught in any weather on the water. Another super important factor when planning a fishing trip is your tides and you no longer have to go anywhere else to get the wind or your tides. All of that is in one centralized location now here with the Smart Fishing Tides app. If you'll see here, you can click on the tides layer and zoom into your preferred area as this is the area that I normally fish. Uh, that's where I just naturally go to to pick a tide station. So I can pick any uh, tide station that I'd like and that takes me right to everything I need to know about that tide station for any given day. I can go check out the tide swing for that day. I can see what time safe light is. I can see high tide, low tide, how quickly that tide swing is going to move throughout the day for any given day. And not only that, I have a strike score here on each day to tell me which day is the best and most optimal day to fish. Granted for the tournament, I had to fish the days of the tournament, so that wasn't really uh, a perk that I had for me, but I was able to see all of the information about the tide swing for that day and I was able to see the best times in that tide cycle that the bite would be the best. Now another thing that was really important for me when fishing this tournament is knowing what trends were being found in the area and how other anglers were having success on the water. Now the best way to do that is by getting reports from other anglers and one of the best places to do that is the Salt Strong insider community. As you can see here, I was fishing in the Big Bend, so I was able to go here into the regional trends drop down menu, pick whatever region I wanted to look at, and then I could scroll through and find out how other anglers in the area were finding success. I was able to see what lures they were using, what uh, area they were fishing at, what type of structure they were finding the fish relating to, all of it. I was able to find out all of the trends that they were finding and be able to apply that for me when I got to the water. Not only was information from other anglers super important for me, but what else was really helpful for me was with the new Smart Fishing Spots app, we are actually able to go into our layers menu and go right in here and see the marine chart as well as the shaded relief for any given area. So if I were to want to see what that bottom structure looked like, I'm actually able to hit the shaded relief feature and then go into that high resolution imagery and be able to see what that underwater structure looks like for any given area. See 
any underwater contours or structures or potholes, anything in the area that could uh, help those fish find shelter or anything like that that they may relate to that would help me find them when I go to fish. But one of the newest and coolest features for me as an angler uh, has been the new oyster beds and seagrass layer. This is constantly being updated by an unbelievable amount of information, but the oyster beds and seagrass layer was super helpful for me because I was actually able to go into those layers and find an area that actually had both of those things in conjuncture, seagrass and oyster beds. Now that gave me a great idea of the type of area that I wanted to target for this tournament. Now I knew the place I wanted to look at, but being able to narrow down areas like this where there's a high concentration of both oyster beds and seagrass, that gave me a better area to work from and a higher probability zone where those fish would be. Now, the second key element for winning this tournament was the on the water adjustments and conditions. As I said, it was a two day tournament and the first day of this tournament, we had a lot of storms. We had a lot of rain throughout the first day and a lot of wind. Uh, I know every single angler that was on the water that day fished in some brutal conditions. So I actually was able to plan where I was going to go based on the weather information that I was being given from the new Smart Fishing Spots app because it does have uh, radar integrated in it as well as windy and other weather information that was helping me stay safe in those storms and in that rain. Now, in that rain, I was actually able to pull up smart fishing spots on my phone and keep an eye on that radar and see where the lightning was and see where the rain was and make sure that I was going to be okay in that situation. Now, I said the conditions were rough on that first day, but despite those rough conditions, I did find some solid fish. I was able to find some decent redfish as well as some really nice trout uh, with the Fred paddle tail as well as the Salt Strong Moonwalker. Those were the two productive lures for the day. And with those lures, I was able to find a trend. I was able to find out that those redfish were dialed in on not only that color, but that small profile. But I wasn't getting any of the larger fish I needed for the tournament. I needed a good slot redfish. I needed a redfish that was going to be at least seven pounds. That's what I needed to feel comfortable in this tournament uh, setting. And I wasn't able to find that fish the first day. But while using my moonwalker, I was able to find that there were some really big fish in that area that were willing to take a strike at my topwater lure. But by the time I was able to dial this in and figure this out, I was running out of time in that first day and I really needed to get back to weigh in with the fish I had. So I ended that first day with a 23 inch redfish and a trout bag. I had a full bag of trout to weigh in for the trout bag jackpot and I was proud of what I had, but I did have the second day to uh, upgrade. So that was the plan. On the second day, the plan was real easy. The plan was to find the fish. The plan was to go back to the same place I had been the day before. Even though I didn't have such great success, the plan was to go back and try and dial in those fish in that area. Now, I even had a friend of mine ask me if I was going to change spots because I had uh, what I would consider a tough day the day before, and I told him I wasn't, and that was because I was able to learn something from the day before. I knew the area I wanted to target with the Smart Fishing Spots app. I was able to get directly to it by finding myself on, the, on my cell phone and guiding myself directly into that spot. Uh, with the accurate location of my pin on the map. Now, once I got back to that spot, the conditions for the second day were much different than the first. It was bright and sunny, and there was no cloud cover at all. But I had a plan, and I knew it worked the first day, so my plan the second day was to cover a lot of the same ground, working the same areas, and trying to dial in those fish with the same lures. Uh, I tried topwater first thing that morning and had some success, 
but I wasn't getting any hookups from those really big fish that were showing up for me on top. So every time I switched to subsurface with the Fred paddle tail, I wasn't getting those bigger fish. The second day, I caught probably a dozen redfish all on the Fred paddle tail, but I was not dialing in those big fish bites. Now, like I said, I was getting those big rolls on top from those big fish with the Salt Strong Moonwalker walking the dog action with it on top water, and I made a decision to where I just finally had to commit to that lure. And I committed to throwing the top water until I either had to leave or I caught one of those really big redfish that kept swiping at my top water. And fortunately for me, I was able to grab one of those redfish on top water that kept swiping at my lure. And it, I was able to bring in a 27 inch redfish that turned out to be a 7.6 pound redfish. That gave me a second place redfish on the leaderboard at the end of the tournament. And throughout the second day, I was also able to upgrade a couple of the trout that I'd gotten from the first day to complete my bag to make a trout bag that was weighing in at almost 10 pounds. Now, as I said, the Fred Paddle Tail and the Salt Strong Moonwalker were the productive lures for me. That's how I caught all of my fish. I caught uh, quite a few fish and I caught some good fish. But the Moonwalker brought in the winning redfish and the Fred Paddle Tail brought in all of the trout bag. Those were the lures that were productive for me and those were the lures that allowed me to bring home a win for the Salt Strong family. Uh, those lures continue to perform and not only are they my confidence baits, but they have proven to work in tournament situations for big fish. Now, another really important key factor that allowed me to win this tournament was experience and knowledge. Now, we all know experience is gained from uh, time put in on any kind of task. So, yes, it's true that I did gain the experience from time on the water and that helped me. But the knowledge that can be more subjective, you can actually allow yourself to be as smart as you apply yourself to be. As I said, experience uh, comes from time, but one of the best ways to learn is from people who have a lot of experience. And one of the greatest things about the Salt Strong Insider Club is they have done exactly that. They have brought some of the best information from lifetimes of knowledge and put it all together in one centralized location. They have done this by putting together a saltwater fishing tips page. Every day there are multiple videos that come out that allow you to be successful on the water on a consistent basis. There's a full-time team of coaches that actually uh, make these videos and give you great information on how to be successful for any type of species you're looking, for looking to target. Redfish, speckled trout, flounder, snook, Whatever it is you're looking to target, there's some great information here for you. And it just keeps on going. There's so much of it. And not only the fishing tips section where you get daily information where the fishing coaches like myself do uh, weekly on the water reports where we go to a new area and fish it and tell you all about how we were successful in the trends of that area. But there are these amazing online fishing courses available to you as an insider member that help you. Uh, it's, it's a fishing college. It puts you through an absolute ringer of information that's designed to help you catch more fish. And this is taught by some of the best in the business. Uh, Captain Peter Deeks, who holds multiple big fish records, John Skinner and Bama Beach Bum, just to name a few. These are some of the names that are teaching these courses available to you. You could not be learning from any better host of people. The knowledge that I have as a fishing coach has been derived from all of the things I've mentioned to you. The smart fishing spots, the insider community with all of the help of the other insider members in the Salt Strong Insider Fishing Club. The fishing tip section with all of the great information that's exclusive to our insider members 
uh, stuff that you're not going to find on YouTube. Everything that allowed me to win this tournament against a fleet of almost 40 boats is right here in the Salt Strong Insider Club. It does not get any better than this. If you want to be a better angler just on the weekends with your family, if you want to be a better angler so that you can uh, make your friends jealous with your big fish pictures on social media, if you want to be a better angler so that you can win some money in some tournaments or just compete and try your hand or to better yourself against other people in this type of situation, there is no better place for you than the Salt Strong Insider Club. There is a full-time dedicated staff that is here to help you on a daily basis. We have an Ask a Coach feature. If you need help, we're here for you. There is nothing else like this out there. The smart fishing spots feature alone with the oyster beds and the grass layer. This is unheard of and never been done before. It is constantly being updated and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Those are the things that helped me. I didn't even get into the marine chart or the smart spots. This thing is absolutely loaded with amazing information. You can set up tracks in here to set up your trip inside of this and and export it into your unit for your boat. There is so much amazing stuff in the Smart Fishing Spots app that the price of the Insider Club alone, this is worth it. This right here is a game changer. Even if you don't fish inshore and you fish offshore, this app alone will change your fishing game. Not only can it change your fishing game, it allowed me to be successful and win this tournament and uh, really have a moment of pride on that stage in front of the people that I respect and in front of the people I admire in my profession and in my sport. I know that the people that I fished against were some of the best in my area and my hat is off to every single one of them, not just the men and women that were fishing in the inshore division, but as well as those brave people who were in the offshore division as well. There were some absolute tough conditions for this tournament, but that's typical of tournament weather. But my hat's off to everyone that braved the weather and fished this event. So everything that played a factor in me being successful as a kayak angler in a tournament against almost 40 boats, every key element is right here in the Salt Strong Insider Club. This new Smart Fishing Spots app is unbelievable. If you want to delete all the fishing apps on your phone, if you want to know where the best places to fish are and the best times to fish there this is what you need to absolutely change your fishing game if you have any more questions about the tournament uh, you can leave those for me down in the comment section or if you have any questions for me about the tactics that uh, helped me be successful on that day or if you want to know more about the tournament and the story about how I won it, you can uh, check out the podcast I just did with uh, Joe not too long ago. And we discussed a little bit more of the tournament and how things went on both of the days. So you can refer to that if there's some other things you're wondering about. But I didn't want to get in too much into all that as I wanted to talk more about the tactics and the things that allowed me to be successful up to that point because I really just wanted to share with y'all how I've been successful over the past couple years as a Salt Strong Insider, as well as a Salt Strong Fishing Coach. And again, I appreciate you watching so much. And as always, don't forget to leave those questions for me down in the comment section, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we are the number one online fishing club in America. We actually guarantee to help you find and catch more fish, save money on tackle, make friends while doing it, or it's free. So we hope to see you in the Salt Strong Insider Club soon, and thanks for watching.